Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ham Radio Dude. Thanks for checking out the channel. Redivis is a company that makes amateur radio equipment. They relabel and resell amateur radio equipment, and they have accessories as well. It's not uncommon to see Redivis reach out to YouTubers and send them radios for review and evaluation. Recently, they asked if they could send me some more radios, and I said, not this time. I'm, I'm a little tired of seeing the same radios every time. You know, you watch 12 different YouTubers and they have the same radio on there. It gets kind of old. So they sent me this right here, the HK009. And look, mom, no wires. If I jump over to Redivis.com and take a look at that Bluetooth microphone and speaker, I, I gotta notice the first thing is the price. And the price does, in my opinion, seems a little steep. However, a little bro tip for you, if you go over to Amazon.com, Amazon is actually selling these through Redivis for $49.99 at this time of recording. So it's a little bit better of a deal if you ask me. And I think it probably can go down just a little bit more. The first thing that you're going to want to do when you get this wireless headset and adapter is you're probably going to want to try to sync everything up. But I caution you, uh, first maybe you should charge it. Make sure you fully charge your device before, before actually using it. And I have found that it takes about two hours and 15 minutes to charge up the wireless uh, speaker microphone and about an hour and 10 minutes here to charge up the actual wireless adapter. And once you get those charged, then we can go ahead and sync everything up, which I'm going to show you right here. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn on your microphone and hold down the push to talk button. What will happen is you'll see a green light, but this should start flashing here in just a, one second or two. Once it starts flashing, go ahead and turn on the wireless adapter by holding down the wireless adapter until that starts flashing as well. Great, now that they're both flashing, they should sync up in just a moment. And we're gonna know they sync when they stop flashing different colors. All right, they're synced up. Let's go ahead and see how this actually works. So go ahead and plug in the wireless adapter to the side of the bow thing, and it does protrude out just a little bit. Uh, but if you have it on a belt clip, maybe it won't be noticeable or maybe like in a backpack or something. Uh, but here we go, we have this plugged in now. I wanna mention that you're not gonna hear any audio in here if your volume on your Baofeng radio is down. So I was turning it about halfway up, and then I'm on here, and I can adjust the volume on here as well now. South gales to 45 knots becoming southwest to 30 knots in the afternoon. 10 to 14 feet, occasionally to 18 feet, subsiding to 8 to 11 feet, occasionally to 14 feet. Day night, west winds to 30. All right, twice there, as it stops talking, for example, the NOAA weather radio stops talking, and it starts to pick up again, the first syllable is uh, cut off. And if I were to just unplug this and just listen Three to the radio. Spray. Waves 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Thursday. North There's no stutter or delay. So what's happening here is there's some kind of weird delay within this wireless microphone that doesn't necessarily, well, frankly, it doesn't allow you to listen to the full conversation. You're always missing that first syllable. And I don't know if that could be corrected in a firmware update or if that's just the nature of this Bluetooth device. But I would like to see and have the ability to listen to full conversation. It would be nice in, in an ideal world that when people key up a microphone for a repeater, they wait a second before they start talking. But we all know that that's not always the case. With that exception of the audio cutting off, the sound quality seems to be okay. Let's listen one more time, but let's listen to hear the difference in sound quality between this device and the Baofeng radio. Hence water, Michigan South. Gale watch in effect from Monday evening through Tuesday morning. Tonight, north winds 10 to 15, nuts backing to southwest. Chance of snow showers. Waves two to four feet subsiding to one to two feet. I actually hear a hiss on the Baofeng radio, maybe it's just I'm a little too far away from the NOAA weather repeater, that I don't quite hear on the Bluetooth headset, which also might mean that that cutoff we're hearing is some kind of audio processing that's occurring internally to this device. What about distance? How far can I walk around? Well, they advertise online uh, 8 to 10 meters, and that's going to be probably a clear line of sight. I'm going to leave this device here and on, and I'm going to walk around the house so we can see how far it takes for it to cut off. Be right back. 15 to 25 knots. The snow showers. 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet, building to 4 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet. From where I'm at here in the office to the front of the building is about 35 feet, and that's where we heard that first set of digitizing or digital noise breakup. I then went downstairs and I walked around and there was some more digital noise breakup, but 
what I would say is, yeah, it wasn't 35 feet, but we're going through structures such as walls and so forth. So I would say that the measurement of up to 10 meters is fairly accurate with this device. I'd also like to mention that I did test multiple brand radios, Baofeng, Redivis, and multiple model numbers to see if that weird audio cutoff at the beginning of the sentences were occurring, and it does seem that it doesn't matter what radio it is, it occurs. Let's change it up a little bit though, and I currently have this Alinko radio. I'm going to walk around the house and I'm going to use the wireless microphone around the house and we're going to see how it sounds to somebody who might be listening. Oh, and real quick, I also probably should mention that when you type in things on here or you go through menus, it will also menu. menu. Although, obviously, it's still cut off a little bit there. One, four, six, nine, eight, zero. All right, let's go. This is W9FFF testing a wireless microphone. W9FFF testing one, two, three, three, two, one. And this is W9FFF. One more transmission. And now I waited about a second. W9FFF, I'll be clear. All right, a couple interesting things to note there is whether I waited a second for the delay or I didn't, all the audio came through. And again, that just means that only the receive audio was getting that first syllable or first quarter second cut off. Again, hopefully that could be fixed in the future. But everything sounded pretty good. I'm going to mention that Maybe the audio quality didn't sound so good on the actual recording, and that's because on the other ones, I was holding it up here when I was doing the test earlier, and with the Elenco, because I couldn't hold it, it was down about double the distance. So that's probably why it didn't sound as good on audio. Uh, but I did walk that 35 feet, and I was transmitting, and it didn't seem like I had any problem with that garbled digital audio. So, hey, I gotta say that it did a fine job with the transmit. Uh, I'm going to let this run for a while, and I'll be back here once I find out how long the battery actually lasts. And while I'm doing those tests, thank you for watching the channel. Now, if you've been watching a couple episodes now and you're finding some kind of value in what I'm offering, maybe you can consider hitting that subscribe button below. It's free and it only takes a second. So thanks a lot, and back to the episode. <clears throat> oh, oh, hey. Uh, after four hours and 15 minutes of continual receive, the Bluetooth adapter died. But even with the Bluetooth adapter not working, you could still use the functionality of the Bluetooth on the speaker slash microphone. And you could sync it up to your phone. I was successful at first and now it's kind of intermittently connecting. Let me try again. So you know it does work out and it connects and I'm sure you can make phone calls with it but the one thing we need to remember is it doesn't actually sound great with music. I don't think it's supposed to sound great with music. I think I've done a fair job of showing you what this device is capable of and some of its downfalls as well but however if you should have any questions let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the channel. I'm Ham Radio Dude. Uh, you might like this video. 73.